So now we have part B, and I'm going to do one question at a time to make the videos a bit shorter. So let's get cracking. So ERS Trading sells sports goods. It sells goods online and in high street stores. The company offers a click and collect service for online customers. Customers using the click and collect service nominate a store for collection. On receipt of the online order, the availability of stock in the warehouse is checked. Items uh, that are not available are ordered from suppliers. Available items are dispatched to the nominated store. Items not collected by the customer within 14 days are returned to the warehouse. Emails are sent out <coughs> are sent to the customer when uh, the item is being dispatched to the nominated store. The item is ready for collection in the store. Items have not been collected by the customer within seven days. Online customers pay using debit cards. It is essential that their payment details are kept secure. Describe the protocols. Here we go. Uh, used to govern data transmission for secure payment systems. Now, all of this could have really been ignored because I know students do it. I'm going to tell you guys, do not ignore it because sometimes the details that you will pick up from here will be helpful. In this particular case, none of this was useful because once you read this question here, it says, describe the protocols used to govern data transmission for secure payment. This tells you everything you need to know. Now, the two things we're going to speak about here are HTTPS, not HTTP. We're going, to, we're going to speak about SSL stroke TLS, right? Let's just stick to SSL for now, but I'm going to put SSL and TLS there. So these are the two protocols used to govern uh, secure transmission of data or, uh, on payment systems. So HTTP is Hypertext Transport Protocol Secure, Secure Socket Layer. The, those two names actually tell you everything you need to know about this. So let's jump into it. So this is how the examiner has set up the answers for that question, right? Uh, first and foremost, I do recommend you define or explain or, or expand um, those abbreviations. So again, HTTPS, hypertext or hypertext transport protocol secure. The secure must be added. HTTP is not secure, right? And the same thing for SSL. So secure socket layer or TLS, transport layer security. So HTTPS, what it does, it authenticates the access to website in other words, it adds a layer of security on the data in transit. So every time you, you're you on a website and let's say you finish filling in a form, name, email address, phone number, so on and so forth. Every time you click save or send or submit or pay, HTTPS ensures that whatever data has been sent, whatever data should be in transit, transit is being sent and received, is um, encrypted. It's secure in some way. Now, secure socket layer, or TLS is the newer version of SSL, establishes a secure link between a web server and the browser. Okay, so SSL is the thing that essentially opens that connection. So it says, okay, hello, my name is PC1. Hello, my name is PC, um, sorry, server1. Let's speak to each other, but let's, let's do it in a very secure manner. That's what they do. So once you're able to explain that, four marks, easy. One mark for actually getting the definition, sorry, the abbreviation correct one mark for explaining what it does and again another mark for getting the second abbreviation correct and another mark for getting what it does correct as well that's it you're done